<laughs> and there she is. Are you disturbing me again? Can I get one good workout? Oh. Hi, Will. Hi. How are you? I'm great. Good. What a beautiful day. It is a gorgeous day. I mean, the sun shining, the birds are chirping. <laughs> I know it's all corny, but guess what? It's beautiful. To be living, be able to see, hear, can walk. Mm. You know, everything is so delicate. It doesn't have to be. Just be yourself and be who you want to be. That's good evening to you. <laughs> <laughs> This is a great day in Parkville. I think you're making it. I need a haircut. You think I need a haircut? Look at this hair. Oh my God, so white. <laughs> so old. Oh well, when I get old, might as well be happy. Fat and happy. So I guess I'm gonna get a haircut. We're gonna see Ursula, and she owns the International Look. And it's a great looking shop. It's all fixed up really nice. All these things, everything's shiny. She's got a great staff. So Denise, uh, how long have you been yeah, doing this? I just started with her slot uh, about the Okay, well you're a really good champion, I can tell. So tell me, well, alright, how about if you do the best job you can do? And I'm gonna lay here and see what happens. This is a regular guy today. And if you think I can shut up, I can't. So tell me what you want to do. I don't know, you're the hairstyles. So my daughter, uh, Sarah, she's in a residential placement in Rockville. Okay. And she's uh, autistic. She's 35 years old. And she's been thriving, doing really well for 20 years. And we go see her often and pick her up. And so now the state is going to make the $15 minimum wage to $15. And if they do, the fortunate, unfortunate thing is that my daughter has three people to take care of her all day. Okay? So, where, where's the other money going to come from? So it's not. So the legislation has to come up with the idea of a piggyback tax or something. Otherwise, my daughter, we got a letter two months ago that says, Mr. Colmallon, this is Colmallon, this is CSAC in Rockville. You better, you might start looking for another place. What the hell are they talking about? I ain't no spring chicken anymore. You know, we've done all our, all our hard work all those years. Right, right. Uh, finding the right place for Sarah. And it's wonderful. So the state has to take care of that. So I'm having awareness one Sunday at the Holiday House at 6427 Hartford Road. And it will be on Sunday from 1 to 4. And so we're trying to get people to have awareness and hairdressers and barbers, we know everybody. So we know all the stories of people's children being diagnosed with autism or whatever. Mm -hmm. So we, as barbers and hairdressers, we can help that cause, but everyone can. <coughs> um, my daughter, her name is Sarah. She was born uh, July, uh, she was born on July 5th, 23rd, 1980, and she was a preemie baby. I guess nothing, I don't know, she was five pounds, three ounces, and we were all very happy being parents, just like all parents. And then um, after they, uh, she was born, they took her back, and there's a certain amount of time things have to happen with the child. Breathing, talk, you know, kind of moving, uh, and Sarah didn't do these things that she was supposed to. So they told us that, uh, you know, she might have a problem. And so we, uh, we took her home, and we didn't know what to do. She cried a lot. She didn't uh, look at you. Um, 
So we love her anyway. So now, um, what are we going to do about it? So finally, um, we got her in school, and uh, there was a PAL program in Baltimore City, and it was for autistic and autistic leg children. And the guy name of the program, um, so the name of the program uh, was, uh, I forget the name of it, come on. But the, uh, the director was George Spence. And George was so cool, he helped us discover that Sarah was um, autistic. So she went to that program, and she went to a program in uh, Baltimore City that helped her also. But eventually we had to sue the city for the city to do something for us. Because no one would do something for us. So we did, we won. And Sarah got into CSAC, where she is now. Currently, maybe not, would be in there much longer if they raised the $15 minimum wage. Oh my God, here I am. Deja vu. But guess what? I got a haircut. I love it. I love it.